Hello everyone, this is Eva again here in our channel, Eva's Simple Creation. So today's menu will be sweet and sour fish or escabeche. Probably know everyone here is uh, love Filipino food. You know what I'm talking about, right? It's escabeche or sweet and sour fish. So normally in the Philippines, we always use the mackerel or the galunggong in the Philippines. So here in America, they call it round scud or short thin scud. But right now, I don't have any galunggong, but I have a white fish or they call it Pacific cod. So I have here and I already, um, I already air fry the fish. So all I need to do is to um, saute all the vegetables, okay? So right in here, I already preheat the extra virgin olive oil in here. Now I am ready to um, saute the Spanish onion. Okay. All right. So now I have to put the Spanish onion and saute right and um like all my cooking i don't want it to be browned uh, i just want it to be in a translucent state and um and get all those sweetness from caramelizing the onion so i am also putting the garlic just the chopped garlic so i will also put that in there all right all right so i usually um cut all the vegetables ahead of time probably a day before i am cooking because you know a busy mom like me i have to um organize my time so i already pre-cut all the vegetables that i need in the escabeche or the sweet and sour fish all right so i am sauteing it and my trick on my uh fast cooking i always put a little bit of salt in the sauteed garlic and onion while it's cooking and then i will put um the black ground pepper also to uh um give flavorful on the sauteed vegetables okay so like that all right guys so in the sweet and sour sauce the best um seasoning or the flavoring for the the sourness and the sweetness for the sauce is just the vinegar and um sugar white sugar some people they use calamansi or the calamundin um citrus uh juice or lemon or lime but i always use the cane vinegar i have the cane vinegar here um made by silver swan it is a filipino product so that's what i've been using right now is the vinegar okay and it's really cheap guys so but the flavor will not make any difference it's just different kind of um, as acid that you will choose. So I am using vinegar uh, today. All right. Now I will also put the rest of the pre-cut vegetables. So I will put the julienne carrots. All right. And then. I will also put the bell pepper. All right. I cut a lot, so I will 
leave a little bit for the next cooking. And usually this um this the vegetable is you know enough, but I like more with um meaty like flavor in the dish so i will add the mushroom i have a lot of mushroom that i cut and freeze so i have i have to add this guys okay it is also will add some meat in the dish because i didn't have a lot of fish so this will be an additional um protein like in the dish okay so i will put a lot of that and then continue stewing right, guys this is just really easy to uh, prepare so so some people they deep fried their fish but since i am um i am in a healthy diet for soup guys so I deep fried it and because it will be different than deep frying it but you know that's the same thing you will taste the natural flavor of the fish and um, yeah and it's healthy you know because you don't have to deep fry it you only just use a little bit amount of um, oil um to saute the vegetables all right guys so now i will put um the seasoning probably i'll put like about uh about half a tablespoon of the salt okay and then put sprinkle of the black pepper all right and then i will put the soy sauce for coloring the escabeche has to have like a dark sauce okay right, guys let me see that and let me get my cornstarch also because we're gonna need that to um thicken the sauce All right, so I will dilute about about one tablespoon of the cornstarch. Yeah, I'll dilute it. You don't have to really put the cornstarch, but I want my sauce to be a little bit thick. Okay, I dilute, I will dilute it with small amount of water. Okay. All right, guys. So we already put the soy sauce in the escabeche. So everything look like cook. All right. And at this point, really, we can put the, the fish. But... I want the sauce first to be thick so I will put the diluted cornstarch so I probably have about like about less than a half a cup of water to a one tablespoon of um, cornstarch you can use any thickening products such as flour or tapioca flour. It's up to you guys, but um, cornstarch is really cheap and available in, in most of the groceries. So that's what I have. And I will put a little bit of water because I want my um, dish to be a little bit saucy. All right. Now we have to just let it, you know, um, boil it. And 
at this point also we can add on the vinegar for acid effect okay so we have a sweet and sour um, fish so we will add um, the vinegar so I have a cane vinegar here made by silver swan it's a Filipino product I'll probably put like about two to three tablespoon of vinegar okay and then we will have to taste it if the acid is enough okay all right and then we will put also sugar so I like my sweet and sour really sweet and acidic so I'll probably put like about three tablespoon of sugar I was also using cane sugar it's called the segunda in the Philippines or blondy here in America all right we'll put more okay right so we'll have to lower the heat right now because it looks like the sauce is thickening so make sure that you stir it constantly okay and I probably put like a little bit of MSG let me get my MSG here okay. so I also have a silver silver swan all-in-one seasoning granules of MSG I have about half a pocket and I will put a little bit yeah so I will probably finish the whole pocket because it's only half so that will be good and will give umami flavor on your sweet and sour fish okay all right so this is almost done guys and I'll probably put more water because it's not enough of sauce so I think we'll be good now put a little bit there you go so this will be enough guys so as you can see let me just go uh, show you the the sauce here yeah so that will be not a lot okay you don't have to over uh over um, incorporate a lot of water because you want your sweet and sour to be like less soupy so all right guys this is it this is done and we are re really ready to put the fish so let me go go taste it if this is enough sweetness All right, guys, I think we have to add more um, vinegar because I don't see, I don't, you know, taste the acid on the, the dish. All right, that is why I have to put like little by little so that you have like enough edge to add on more seasoning than to, you know, to put a lot. So my trick really it's probably a lot of people using that is put the the seasoning little by little all right i think this will be enough <clears throat> and we'll put a little bit of sugar i think i put a little bit of um, um vinegar but you know we have a remedy on that. Just put more sugar and water. And that's it. We're done. Okay. And then stir it. And then taste it after stirring. I think we'll be okay now. Let's see. Mm, it's better now. Okay. Now we're ready to put the pacific cod all right guys right? we will add the pacific cod that i air fried okay and at this point really everything is cooked including the vegetable and fish all we need to do is just to simmer it 
and incorporate the sauce make sure that the sauce is coated is coating the fish all right guys i am really excited on consuming this escabeche or sweet and sour fish and my daughter actually cooked some brown rice and it's really uh, a good compliment uh, in fresh brown rice or fresh white rice whatever you prefer guys i am just so excited on consuming this and i'm hoping everyone is safe and if you like my video please click like and subscribe below guys this is all coming up and um hoping that you like my video guys thank you so much for watching this is eva again here in eva's simple creation have a nice day and thanks for watching bye for now